Hey guys, I'm lighting my money candle. My money. My money candle. I'm lighting my money candle. I got my other candle here. This smells good. This smells good. So, hey guys, hey guys. So, happy MLK Day. So, I want to do this video. Should you get a department store card? Now, here's what I say. Not really, right? Because you can just get a bank card with low interest and, you know, pay your bill on time. Now, with the department store, Macy's, Walmart, all these different department stores, JCPenney, Sears, all these different department stores, their interest rate, guys, is 24, 27, 19. So it's like if you buy a shirt on sale for $5 or $10, guys, you're really going to pay $50 for this shirt. Right. So again, guys, we got to get financially educated. Right. So with the system that I'm with, my econ, it helps us to get financially educated. Right. So that you don't have these high ass interests. Right. So that you can lower your interest rates, have higher credit limits. Right. Because my um, Capital One, they sent me an email and they said, oh, well, we raise your credit, I think, by twenty five hundred. We raise your credit limit by twenty five hundred. So what does that mean? So my intro, my 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 um, credit card is higher, my limit, and my balance is lower. So that makes my credit score even better and my utilization lower. Right now, should you have many credit cards? Yeah, right. Because if you're using it for business, if you're using it, um, you know, to go make money, then yeah, you can have unlimited cards if you want to, or just have a handful of cards. But if you got Macy's, you got J.C. Penney, you got this, you got that, you got that one with all these high ass interests, it's no good. So in 2020, guys, we got to get more financially educated. We got to get more financially lit. We got to understand credit. We got to understand building wealth. We got to understand building a legacy for our children. We also got to understand how to have money work for us. And if we keep continuing to pay these high-ass credit cards, if we continue to keep paying all this interest on these high-ass credit cards, guys, when do you start building wealth? Right? When do you start building a legacy? When do you start getting good credit? Right? When do you start paying shit off, guys? It's hard to do right so we can't do it so i don't think that you should get a department score card oh i'm gonna go to macy's and you know if you can't buy it on cash don't get it right i didn't understand that when my grandmother was telling me that at 18 years old she was like oh if you can't buy it on cash don't get the shit because now you won't end up paying four or five times and i said okay didn't understand it now i understand it a shirt literally can cost you $50. A $5 shirt can cost you $50 over time, guys. So we got to get financially educated. That's why I love My Econ. It's called Your My Economy, where you can create your own economy, right? Make your own financial decisions, feel empowered to do certain things in your life and, uh, you know, and start a business. Wealth is built over time. Wealth is built, guys, through generations after generation after generation, 30, 40, 50, 60 generations, right? It's not tomorrow I get rich. Tomorrow I get wealthy. Somebody has to start. And if you don't get department store cards, then you're not going to teach your kids to get department store cards. Then guess what? Then the cycle is officially broke. But if you get department store cards and every time your kid want a shirt or they want a pair of shoes, they got to get a department store card just to get it, then guess what? Your family wealth will literally deplete year on year on year on year. So again, friends, they're already saying that black people's wealth is going to zero in the next 10 years. See, I'm not, my family not, because I'm going to make sure, right, that my credit's right, I make sure my money's right, I make sure that my money is working for me, right? So at the end of the day, guys, department school cards are not good. If you want to have a credit card, get you a credit card with low interest or no interest, pay it off and use that. How do credit card companies work? If they see that you keep paying your credit card on time for the next, let's just say three months, four months, they're going to increase your limit by default without you even asking for an increase. They're going to increase your credit limit by default, guys. So pay your fucking bills on time. Stop getting all of these credit cards from all these department stores. Pay your shit on time. Let's get out of debt. Let's get out of this trap, right? So on Wednesday, was it Wednesday? 
um, or Thursday, I'm doing a webinar, right? So you click on the link below, webinar of the 21st century on literally beating this, this trap of credit cards, of, of big businesses, of debt and student loans and all this shit and interest, high interest, guys. It's crazy, right? This don't make no sense no more, man. I'm telling you guys, we got to get financially lit in 20 fucking 20, man. Being broke is not an option, period. I, I was broke already. I was broke for 30 years. I'm done. <laughs> I was already broke for 30 years. I'm done with that. Done. Period. I'm done. I don't want to do that no more. I want my kids doing that. I want my husband doing that no more. We done. Right? So being broke is not an option. And that shouldn't be an option for you. But you got to invest in yourself. You got to take time to study money, finance, credit, investing, getting out of debt. Instead of you going out to eat, you need to spend money on lowering your debt. You need to start a business. Most of y'all getting your tax money. Y'all going to spend that shit on a TV or, or a couch or some furniture. Spend it on your brain. All right? So your mind can grow. So you can become more intellectually stimulated. Right? So you can grow better. So you can feel better. Do more. Y'all finished? So you can be intellectually stimulated, guys. We got to be intellectually stimulated. Not materialistic stimulated. Not get happy when someone offers us a job stimulated. Not when we, you know, go to college and got to spend all this fucking money stimulated. No. We got to self-empower. Right? Self-stimulate ourselves to feel better. To feel you know, some type of way, right? So again, guys, 2020 is supposed to be the year of 2020. I got four eyes, right? Two in and I got two other eyes, my glasses. So you want to be stimulated, guys, right? Intellectually to feel better, right? About your future and not have anxiety about your future. You want to feel better about your money, Right. And not have negative energy towards your money. You should take my black wealth class. Right. I talk about how to change your energy around money. Right. So, again, again, guys, don't worry about no no department store cards because they killing you. Get rid of them. Right. That should be a priority. When you get your tax money, invest in a financial education system or start in a business that can bring you in money every day. Right. Okay, get yourself in a better position 2020 so that your kids can be in a better position, your grandkids can be in a better position, your great great grandkids can be in a better position. Right? We don't give a fuck. Black people don't care about wealth, they care about making everybody else wealthy. We know about wealth and riches and le leaving legacy, we know about all that, but we ain't doing it for ourselves. All right, we know about it. We see Donald Trumps, we see the Oprahs, we see the uh, uh, you know the Beyonces, the Kim Kardashian. We see all that, right? But to do it for ourselves is like ah, uh, I just rather help everybody else get wealthy. No, I don't have that mindset. No, I want my family to get wealthy, and if I can help my family to gain principles of wealth and legacy and getting rich, then guess what? I can help another family. Do the same thing. That's why I do so many videos. I send so many emails out. Right? I do posts that make people think. That's like, you know what, Tanisha? You're right. I need to do what you're doing. I need to start building wealth, right? But you got to have that mindset to think 50 years. You got to have that mindset to think 80 years. So go to webinar of the 21st century and then join TanishaMarie.com, guys. See you soon.